you were really struggling with those pieces like you do as hard as you work and you were still excited all the way through and what I want to say what we want to say is how really nice and kind you guys have been it's like we're out here it's physical we're in the sun and you guys were just all so beautiful to work with and that's one of the things that we take away from this is like sometimes people say artists are blank holes you know what i mean there's that reputation artists are hard to get along with not at the pasadena chalk festival you guys are awesome give yourselves a big hand So, I want to thank the sponsors, um, first of all, and we want to give them each a big hand for making this possible. Let's start with the presenting sponsor, Tillamook Country Creamery Association. You know, they gave away, I'm going to say yesterday, they gave away 3,500 flights of ice cream. It was crazy. They said they've never had so much ice cream jonesing going on in one place at one time that was yesterday today it had to be like another five thousand so almost ten thousand flights of ice cream or something it was crazy right <laughs> yes give tell them a big hand i want to thank um allison and all of the crew at blick art materials they're fantastic and once again we can't do this event it's it's not a cakewalk to put together is it? it's not a cakewalk it's really a lot of hard work on everybody's part and i know how hard the guys our hosts our partners paseo colorado works we work hard we all worked hard to make this happen but we did it because we love this event we wanted to make it as comfortable safe and enjoyable for you let's thank the paseo carla viatoro Raul Delgado, Dina Betts, Juan Morales, and Chelsea Jones, and everybody who works here for keeping it nice. Years ago, when we came here, years ago, and we said, hey, what if we did the chalk event here, and we did it with 600 artists, and they're going to have chalk and go in your restaurants, we thought we'd just be laughed off the property. And they made it work, and it's no easy job. So we're really thankful for that, too. Um, we want to thank, of course, the City of Pasadena Arts Commission for giving a grant to the Pasadena Chalk Festival. And, uh, and they're loyal to us each and every year. So um, that said, we're going to move right into the prizes. Wow, who is that? Who's screaming? We're, the first award that we're going to give is Best in Chalk of Fame. And this is a mural that most depicts a movie, Best in Chalk of Fame. And Lexi Jean's going to make it appear. She's doing all the visual magic. Look at Lexi Jean. Give her a big hand. And the Best in Chalk of Fame prize goes to... Clifton Gold, mural number 514. Focus, focus, where's Clifton? Are you here? All right, come on up. Okay. Patty Hurley's gonna read the prize. And all of you who win a prize, don't jump up this way. I took a Pratt fall really hard <laughs> already. Um, come up the stairs, but we're gonna tell you what it is, and then we're gonna ask you to talk about why you did that mural. Oh, he gets Los Angeles Family Zoo membership, $25 of Island gift card, $50 of Victoria's Secret gift card. Oh, I wonder what you're going to get. And refreshing summer water bottle. I just, I'm just, I don't know, I'm putting all this together, trying to figure out sounds like a party for you. <laughs> and talk about your mural while you chose that. Uh, it's one of my favorite movies, uh, and yeah, uh, this is my second year at the event. Yeah. Thank you, Clifton. Thank you very much. The next award goes to the most humorous, voted on you, the artist of the Pasadena Chalk Festival. 
And the most humorous goes to Sasha Karlova, Jeff Goldblum, mural number 113. <laughs> Sasha, come on up, use the stairs. Uh, Humorous gets a Los Angeles Family Zoo membership, lifetime membership to my gym, and four weeks of class, $50 gift card to the Crack Shack, a, what? a sack of totally fresh bagels from the artist room, and a huge refreshing <laughs> water bottle. So, like Jeff, so talk about the mural. What's your thing about Jeff Goldblum? Um, I mean, he's pretty cool. <laughs> well, uh, this is my 15th year doing the Chalk Festival. Wow. So, um, but it's my first time doing a portrait, so I thought he had a great face. Um, and I always like doing something a little quirky, so I thought Jeff Goldblum. But I'm surprised because I didn't think most people got my joke. So thanks for again my pun. <laughs> and uh, thanks to my assistant, Steven, who colored in the glasses and helped me with my first flower. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Sasha. Um, the next uh, prize goes to best 3D effect. And the winner is... AJ Kabalu and Peter Zaslov, mural number 132. AJ, are you here? Okay, come on up. Not real fast, not so what, what? AJ gets a uh, Los Angeles Family Zoo membership. Warby Parker gift card for $95. 3D glasses. 25 Rubio's gift card and a refreshing summer water bottle. The refreshing summer water bottle is nothing to sneeze at. You have to see them. So tell us about, come over here, come on in. And uh, have you keep your, uh, oh, yeah. also tell us about, tell us about your mural. Uh, well, it's uh, based on, okay. uh, it's based on Pablo Picasso's uh, a painting called uh, Le Veve uh, from 1932. And uh, I think it's at the Tate, and uh, you know everybody knows Picasso. And everybody wants to be uh, part of uh, part of something like big. So we wanted to put you guys in the uh, you know the art piece. And that's what we always do. We always want to like involve everybody, you know, because it's all about family. And uh, <laughs> that makes me very happy. So thank you, thank you, AJ. Game. Awesome. The next prize goes on the way to Mocha. Patty. Uh, gets a Los Angeles Family Zoo membership, $25 Rubio's card, $20 to the uh, Pasadena Antique Mall, and a summer water bottle. Not a winter winter bottle, a summer water bottle. Uh, must come in a pretty color. The winner is... Yuchi Baba, number 233. What an awesome mural. Yuchi, are you in the house? No. Yuchi's coming. Look at him. He's coming up. Coming in on a... I want to know about this mural. Yuchi, come on. On the way to the stage. On the way to Mocha. Yeah. Let's talk about the mural. Hi, uh, my name is Yuji. Uh, this is my uh, fifth year. Uh, I always draw something about Star Wars. Uh, and this time, uh, it's uh, Luke Skywalker with X-Wing pilot. I brought my uh, R2-D2 with it. That's crazy. Thank you. Uh, yes, this is my fifth year. Right, thanks so much. A big hand to Yuji Baba. The next prize goes to best use of color. Um, and that will be awarded to... Whoa. Joe Flowers, Weston Harker, Disneyland, number 325. Yes. They get a Los Angeles Families ship, two tickets to Pasadena Museum of History, $25 BJ's 
restaurant gift card and a refreshing summer water bottle. And you know, they're the guys that probably really could use the refreshing summer water bottle. And they're coming up with a camera and uh, a notebook. So you guys, so I have to tell you a little story. So, yeah, and you guys walk by me. I watch these guys for like the whole weekend. And because they're out of context, you know, I didn't think anything about the Disneyland uh, mural. And I thought, okay, they're not Scientology. <laughs> and they're maybe Scottish Scientology. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out like who are, what are they doing? Then I kind of thought it's Barbershop Quartet, but there's only two of them. Kind of the Simon and Garfunkel of Barbershop. It'd be cool. And then I finally, and then you, what, which one said, hi, Tom? You said, hi, Tom, yesterday. We were walking by there, and I, and I remember saying, who are those people? How do they know my name? It's really scary. Um, and then I put it all together. Of course, it's Joe and Russ. And so talk about this. I thought, this is the happiest place on earth. Yeah, thank you. Um, and every year we try and really get into the art that we do. So uh, most years you'll see us in Boston. Uh, we did Herbie last year. Uh, this year we just really wanted to get into Disney. So we dressed as cast members. Uh, the question we got asked the most, are we cast members? We're not cast members. <laughs> we, don't, we don't work for Disney. But, but man, we tricked a lot of them. <laughs> we just do it. We're super fans. But thank you guys. We appreciate it. It's awesome. I have a feeling you guys know Charles Phoenix. Do you know Charles Phoenix? Because if you don't, you should. Yes, you know who he is. Okay. Thank you. Give him a big hand. Go ahead. Can I get the video from someone? Yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Very good. Um, next. We're going to uh, most inspirational. This is a great one. Uh, um, and the winner for most inspirational, as voted by you, is Leo Aguirre, number 221. Where's Leo? There he is. Come on, up the stairs. Los Angeles fail of Leo this guy. membership. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> $50 bodega card, $20 antique mall, and a refreshing... Oh, Leo, that was awesome. And I actually, we talked over there. So, and I know a little bit about this, but could you tell the story? Well, the portrait is of my coach from high school. Uh, he coached at Santa Fe High School for 43 years. Um, he recently passed in January of uh, pancreatic cancer. So I thought it was a perfect way to honor him this weekend for Father's Day. Uh, his family came out, and it was the first Father's Day without him, so I thought it was a perfect gift to them. And uh, it was, you know, here I could, anybody can do a mural of somebody, but to make it somebody special and make it for somebody else, I thought that was more meaningful to me than anything. And I was not expecting this at all. <laughs> so, thank you, guys. Thank you. you always do something awesome, and thank you very much. Leo is such a great artist of ours. Um, the next prize goes for Best Animation Mural. And the winner is Jennifer Swain, number four. Jennifer, come on down. Uh, LA Family's membership, $20 Paso Doble Bodega card, store, 25 BJ's gift card, and refreshing summer water <laughs> Sorry, I had to run. Uh, um, uh, it's uh, okay. Um, I drew a two-headed sea serpent. That is my own original drawing, and a bunch of creatures coming out of the ground. And it's in Animation Alley, of course. Um, <laughs> Paseo Nessies. <laughs> the Nessie the Loch Ness Monster lives under the Paseo and comes out once a year. <laughs> and, you know, busts through. We can have it busting through a mural, but we thought that would be too hard to draw. So. <laughs> we thought we'd do it in sections. We had a lot of fun doing a big, huge, large sea serpent. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Woo! Awesome. The next prize. Best rendition of a masterpiece 
And the award goes to Nuria Martinez. Nuria, come on up, number 218. Family Zoo membership, $50 bodega card, and 25 islands. Nuria, there you are. You win a $25 island. <laughs> I'm dying up here. Vincent van Gogh because he was um, uh, he has many struggles with uh, illnesses and um, um, I know in I just found <laughs> I can't speak just um, just, uh, um, just he inspired me a lot because uh, he struggles with so many things and uh, he was always pursuing his artistic career just like uh, every one of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nuria Martinez. Best rendition of a masterpiece. Well, there's a lot of prizes. Uh, the next one goes for best technique. Patty Hurley. What are the prizes? And the winner is, sorry, going out of order, Whitney Banks, number 237. Where's Whitney? Uh, most, which one? Uh, LA fam, oh. LA Family Zoo membership, 25 islands, and two tickets to Norton Summer. Whitney oh. <laughs> Bank. She worked really hard over there. We all saw that. Got more chalk. Actually, she's the artist that got the most chalk all over herself, too. We, and we one year gave a prize for that, believe it or not. I think it went to Sasha. Uh, hello, I'm Whitney. I did uh, the final uh, episode of Game of Thrones, and if you haven't seen it by now, sorry, spoiler alert, the Iron Throne gets burnt to a crisp. So, I originally was going to do the victor of the Iron Throne. I was like, yeah, no one's going to know what that is. I'm going to paint that. And then I found out who it was, and I was like, no, no, I'm not doing that. So, chose this scene, and I had a lot of fun with it. Awesome, very good. That's beautiful. Um, the next award is best job, by the way, Lexi, getting this together on the PowerPoint. Yeah. It's worked so far. Um, best bid at silent auction. And so for all the canvases that you donate, money raised, and it raises a considerable amount of money, goes to buy art supplies and fund part of the time for artists and residents at Room 13 in Pasadena Public Schools. So it goes to a really great cause. 100% of that money. And... This one goes to, do you remember this? Yeah, Leo, Leo, come on up. $750 raised, one piece of art. Wow, that's awesome, come on up. Let's see it, let's see it. Uh, <laughs> LAC membership, that's the second one. $50 Granville gift card and two tickets to Pasadena Museum of History. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Uh, so, I chose both of them because they both had cigars in, in them, and I figured put real cigars in the paintings, and that would make it even better. And I had a buddy who was really good at, you know, wood, and so I went to his house and I asked him, hey, I'm trying to do a piece, but put two paintings together, and I want it flipping, and this and that, and he's like, all right, well, let's, let's work it. And so we spent a lot of hours putting that thing together. And finally, we were happy with the third result. And uh, that's it. I mean, it was tough bringing it here, but I knew it was for a good cause. So I, I was okay with it, you know? So I was fine. Somebody is very okay with it. Yeah. And who smoked the cigars down? <laughs> I, I smoked a little bit of them just to get them burned and, uh, <laughs> and then cut them, okay? <laughs> All right, so Leo smokes. <laughs> Anyhow, that was awesome, that thing. No, I, <laughs> thank you very much for that contribution. That was, that's going to go a long way. That actually buys art supplies for one, for after school art program, art supplies for the year, literally with our donate, with our discounted blood, and they help us too. So um, that, is, uh, that is really going to help us. 
Um, the next one is a Lightbringer Project Award. We get so many new artists that come in here and are learning from you. One of the things that um, artist over here, Israel, did that beautiful uh, sculptural piece over there. He had said the other day that uh, artists are teaching artists. That's a great part of this. It's like a real learning experience from each other all the time, whether it's deliberate asking somebody about technique or just learning by looking and doing. Um, but we'd like to honor a new artist that comes in brave enough to kind of step into the family, right? And to join us at the dinner table for this. And this year, the best, actually the best new artist didn't start Saturday morning, walked on and said, do you have any space? Best new artist for this year presented by Lightbringer Project is Ali Shehorn, mural number 150. Ali, are you here? Allie's coming. Patty, what are they going to win? That's the new artist. Los Angeles Family Zoo membership dinner for two at Mihari's restaurant and a $50 J. Jill card. And you just drove on by and said, what's going on here? How did that happen? I was going to the movies last night and uh, the dead don't die and I saw the chalk festival and I was beating myself up I live a mile away and I was like how did I not know this was happening and I was like I wish I had there was a square and so I asked this fine gentleman and Ken and they were like yeah we'll find you a square and I had so much fun doing it and it was a blessing thank you guys so much thank you Ali Now, before we go to the P uh, Maceo's People's Choice Award voted by the people who are all walking around and looking at everybody's, and uh, I think we had probably the, lar probably the largest amount of votes, probably, maybe, ever. Uh, uh, over how many? Over 3,000 votes, wow. Um, for the People's Choice. Um, now, with these are now, we're gonna get to, there's a People's Choice, and then we have three artist choices, and then we have a grand prize. So I can explain this. The grand <laughs> prize was uh, awarded by a community panel of representatives from esteemed arts organizations in Pasadena. And then you voted for the artist choices and the people voted for the people's choice. There are three cash awards. And we wanted to make sure <clears throat> that not an artist didn't win all the cash awards and still remain true to the voting. This is real exciting, right? So the Paseo's People's Choice wins, and I'm gonna read this, the Los Angeles Family Zoo membership, $25 island gift card, but they can take a lot of friends to islands because they win $1,000 courtesy of the presenting sponsor Tillamook, one thousand dollars wow. and the winner of the people's choice is kathleen sanders number 234 kathleen yeah kathleen <laughs> and look it's a real check and you can take that to your local bank <laughs> I want to see what they say when you take that to the bank. <laughs> yeah, you should take it in anyhow with the check. Okay. Um, talk to us about you and the mural and all of that and how you feel. All right, uh, this is my sixth year doing the Pasadena Talk Festival and Lion King is my favorite movie of all time. I was really excited because the live action is coming out so I thought this would be the perfect year to do it. And I'm just so grateful that everybody voted and that I'm really glad that everybody enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Awesome. They obviously loved you. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to go to the third place artist choice. And um, I just, I, <laughs> on the Lightbringer side of this, we have so many volunteers that uh, I don't want to, I'm not going to probably say everybody's name, but just look in here. Barbecue Ken, come on up here. You never talk. Nobody knows who you are. You're the faceless man. He's the guy with all the dollies and coolers, and he's always taking care of the artists. Give him a big hand. Well, 
Why do you come here every year? You do it, you love it. Um, Lightbringer matters, this place matters. Well, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Barbecue Ken. And I literally don't know his last name, and I don't want to know his last name. We just know him as Barbecue Ken. You figure it out. Um, I want to thank Phil Medina. You see him walking around with me, where the guy we put out the fires before it catches fire and stuff like that. And try to make everything um, work with Baseo staff and Raul to make it nice and safe for everybody. I want to thank uh, Lexi Jean, of course. I want to thank um, and and you for handing out the prizes. <laughs> Say your name. Kaylee. Kaylee's awesome. She'll do anything. Kaylee will say, Kaylee, we need you to move Tommy Bahamas two feet to the left, and she gets it done. Um, I want to thank Jeff Hall, who's sitting there. Jeff, who does everything, and he runs the silent auction there and helps raise the money um, for our school programs. I want to thank Kathy Lloyd, and of course, our, let's see, I'm probably missing a bunch of people, Susan Lee who's there you give the canvas to, but I want to thank Managing Director of Lightbringer Project, Patricia Hurley. Patty, come up and say a few words. Why do, why do you care about all this? Uh, I also well, want to thank, thank Lori, uh, Lori Antoinette, who works with all the artists to make yes, those Erica. beautiful badges, and uh, all the wonderful uh, people who help clean up the property and make it beautiful for us. And, uh, just so many people to thank, and um, oh my gosh, I want to thank Jackie Aguirre, especially for running the um, whole children's section. She just graduated high school, and she is amazing. Um, I want to thank Brian Beery for all his beautiful photography work, and he uh, really marks us in uh, the documentation department here and so many others uh, for helping give us the things we need as we do this when we get tired. Thank you. We're going to go to Best in Festival Artist Choice. Third place winner is Charlotte Scoville, number 217. Charlotte, are you out there? Where's Charlotte? Here comes Charlotte. Uh, Los Angeles Family Zoo membership, two tickets to Norton Simon, $50 to El Cholo, $100 steak dinner at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. $100 steak dinner at Ruth's Chris. Uh, bottle of Boo, Tico, Champagne, Champagne Flutes, uh, Cabernet, and a LA Zoo membership. Awesome. That's the champagne the celebrities drink. Charlotte, talk to us about your mural. Um, well, I really love paint. Because, you know, she's pretty awesome. Um, you know, she loves herself, and she was like, I'm going to do this, and this is what I'm going to do, and I don't care what anyone thinks about it. And that's how I would like to live my life. You know? <laughs> Charlotte's been a big part of our festival, won some awards, right? And we expect to see you back. Yes, it's all yours. Your wonderful job. Okay, we're going to second place, Artist Choice. And um, the winner of second place, Artist Choice, is Jennifer Rapasa, number 116. Jennifer, are you here? Jennifer. Jennifer gets uh, LA Zoo family membership. Two nights stay at the Hyatt Place Pasadena with breakfast and parking. $75 great maple gift card, $200 steak dinner at Ruth's Chris with the champagne and the flutes and the Cabernet. Yum. <laughs> $200 steak dinner. Hey, talk to us about your mural. Um, it's an original by Camila de Erico and the, um, the piece represents unity and that all of us humans, uh, we all live under the same sky. Well said. Give her a big hand, Jennifer Rapaza. And I don't think we've seen you last year, but you are here. She's a veteran of ours and uh, an outstanding artist. It's amazing how we've watched your talent grow over the years. Like you're a major force. So thank you so much for being part of our festival. Who's with you here? My husband. 
<laughs> Very good. Let's give a hand to the husband of Jennifer Raposa. Okay. We're going to do first place and then the community grand prize. Okay. And this is uh, also is a cash award. And um, the first place artist choice gets, I'll read this, a Los Angeles Family Zoo member, $300 steak dinner at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, and $1,500 cash, Ooh. courtesy of Tillamook. The big check, are you ready? And the winner of this is Kayla Garcia, number 302. Kayla, come on up. Now, her dad, oh, there, I see champagnes involved, so that goes for your dad. Yeah, well, let's talk about them. Oh, I, my, the fam my family is the reason that I'm here and how well I do. They're my supporting backbone. They help me with everything. They're making sure that I'm doing well. They're making sure that I have everything I need. Like, oh, do you want this color? Do you want this color? Oh, do you need food? I know you're not going to eat on your own. <laughs> They, they make this experience fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kayla. And I think last year you were People's Choice, and the year before that you were amazing. Uh, Kayla just, so she 18 years old, came here and was 16 years old. That's the legal entry age. And, um, and now she's uh, part of this big tour de force. So thank you so much, Kayla. Let's give a big hand. Yeah! Awesome. Okay, are you ready for the community grand prize? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> are you fighting over the over the wine and the champagne? The dad. Yeah, he she can't even see she won't even take it. He taught look at that. Yeah, good. <laughs> Very good. Everybody wins at the Pasadena Shock Festival. The community grand prize was voted on by a panel of judges from the Pasadena community with a, all affiliated with various arts organizations and um, uh, it was really great of them to give their time for this and their expertise and the runaway winner for the community grand prize was Shujini Shimura, Kurt Cobain, come on up. So, uh, we are going to officially present, this is on behalf of Telemuth, a check in the amount of $2,500 for Shuji. <laughs> that is just an amazing piece, and as I was walking around, I heard people, like people saying, you know, Kurt Cobain, Kurt Cobain. Uh, yes, I know my name. Yeah, I was about to leave. No, I'm kidding. Well, um, yeah, this is a portrait of uh, the Kurt Cobain. Oh, thank you. A couple of months ago, I just figured out, uh, I found out uh, it's been uh, 25 years, already 25 years since he died, so I felt I'm so old. You know, it's the 90s, you know, I was in college. I, I always listened to the Nirvana. And then I started listening again, and I, I realized you know, how sounded it's still good. So I decided to do not only the mural, but also the, the canvas painting for the silent auction. And then, um, well, actually, the yesterday, the one guy came over, and then the, he said, uh, "You did a really good job, and uh, just it looks just like him." And then you did a pretty good job. And, then, and I said, oh, thank you. And I thank you very much. And then he goes on. I was, um, he was a, uh, a friend of mine. And then I used to hang out with him. And I was like, oh, really? And, then, and I shook his hand and he, he's gone. I, I forgot to ask his name. But at the time, I, I, I'm, I'm so happy and I'm already done. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that was really good, you know. Normal. Yeah, awesome money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But thank you very much. Thank you. Chuji, who is uh, 
our Master Madanaro, one of our three or four, I think, Master Madanaros who has won the Best of Festival three times. Congratulations. So I'll get behind you in the bank with the hold it up. And that's for it. Thank you very much, Hugh. Oh, wow. My, I am wordless now. Um, I want to thank all of you guys. I said this up there about how much this means to the community. This was not only the largest. In 2010, we broke the world record, the world's largest public art event of its kind. Every year since then, it has gotten bigger by a couple of murals and five or eight or ten more artists. This was the biggest, this is the unofficial world's largest public art event of its kind. You guys make it possible. You guys are the champions. I, you guys are crazy good. You are crazy good. You're what brings those droves of people. Tens of thousands of people. Thank you. Uh, be safe. Have a great summer. And we will see you in 2020.